Good morning, good evening, and uh, good afternoon, uh, depending on which time zone you're in. My name is Ernest O'Dell. I am your host for this tutorial today, and this is a picture of yours truly. Uh, <laughs> so uh, let's get on with this uh, little tutorial. I'm going to try to make it as short as possible. I had a lot of people asking me about uh, doing some uh, tutorials on the Facebook timeline marketing uh, and emailing leads and canned responses and we're going to get those in subsequent tutorials but today I'm going to use the same um, format that I normally use for my webinars and I'm just going to uh, go here and we're going to start showing how to advertise on Facebook timeline marketing. Now, if you've read about it over here at the imnmarketer.com slash FB timeline slash, um, you, you can come here and go to marketing Facebook, marketing 101 basics, uh, and then scroll over to powerful Facebook strategies and then Facebook timeline marketing and that will bring you to this page right here same page that I was on okay now you can capture a lot of people's attention on your timeline if you have a large network now I have some friends that have very large networks of friends um, you know on regular timelines your personal profile is limited to 5,000 friends uh, I know some people that have more than one uh, profile and probably out of a, a billion members on Facebook I would say about half of them probably have multiple profiles which is against Facebook's terms and, and rules but it took me about five years to build up to this point of 4,877 friends uh, there was a time when I was at 5,000, the limit, and it went over, okay? So it may take you some time. If you're new to Facebook and you only have just a few friends or a few hundred friends, uh, don't, you know, go out there and start requesting to connect on people's networks or you'll get slapped by Facebook. You, you can do, you know, one, two, or three a day, uh, maybe... 10 a day or, or something like that as long as you don't overdo it Facebook does track your activity if they see that you're going and asking too many people to be your friends uh, you know that might uh, you know slap you you might have to go up and, and, and check your account settings and privacy settings you may have to open yourself up to uh, the cloud so to speak on the privacy settings and allow other people to see you on a search be proactive in posting good content if you are going to use your Facebook uh, profile as a business resource you might also consider connecting up with an account on Twitter and LinkedIn okay first things first I have uh, a, a link here. I'm going to move this down just a little bit. I'm just going to hide it from the timeline for right now. Okay. I posted this this morning. Basically, what I did is on my timeline, I already have some people liking it. Uh, one, two, and two others. Uh, so I have four people that have seen this and they like it. Uh, there's been some other people and you can show the number of shares uh, that uh, people have made so Mary Jane Stacy she shared my photo uh, and she's probably used that on her timeline and put her link up okay so basically all I did was I came up here on my timeline I grabbed the link to my uh, let's say I grab a new link here, okay, and I went into my back office. I logged into my Instant Rewards back office control panel, and I went to the Change Capture pages, and I just clicked on one of the thumbnails 
uh, I clicked on this thumbnail here, I think. Uh, and let's let that populate. Yep, I think it's the same one. Splash 3, and that's Splash 6. So one's a little bit bigger than the other. So let's go ahead and use Splash 3. You know, this still goes to yours. Now, you can also use your default, okay? So if you have made one of these pages your primary, uh, you, you can, you know, just use your primary uh, instantrewardsnetwork.com slash and then your username, okay? My username is DMS Group. But today I want to use this particular uh, I want to use this one. Now, if you don't want to preview it, you see down there in the lower left of the screen, it'll have a little pop-up and it'll show you what the URL is. You can right-click and say copy link location, and you can use that as your URL when you post uh, instead of doing a preview. If you want to blow it up and preview it, you can do that and it'll open up in a new tab. Now, it says, number one, pin a post. What's a pin post? Well, when you put that post up there, it stays up, uh, you know, as long as you leave it pinned. Uh, it'll stay on the top of your timeline for seven days unless you unpin it before the seven days is up. Um, you can also do this in groups that you create if you create your own groups or your own fan pages. That'll be another tutorial. For right now, Let's go ahead and click on photo. We're just going to upload a new photo. Okay. And I'm going to go into uh, my server and I'm going to find my instant rewards in here. And here's my instant rewards folder. And I want to go to. Uh, graphics and let's look at some of the thumbnails to see what we have okay and here you can right click on a graphic on the thumbnail and do a preview blow it up and see if this is one that you want to use uh, uh, and you can use this it's, it's a banner that you can actually use on a website but you can also use it in one of your photos uh, if you want to go down here and look at some of the other photos, uh, you might consider uh, doing one of the others. Let's say preview this one, okay? This is one that would actually tell somebody to click, so I don't want to use that because it's, you know, the, the conflicting message. You can't click the, uh, the banner in... Uh, Facebook, unless you're using a special uh, template. So let's preview this one. <clears throat> Instant Money Network, online referral agents needed. Top producers earn $50,000 a year or more. Uh, click to start today. Okay, you could use something like that. Uh, if you want to open up multiples, hold your control key down and just mouse over them until it highlights them okay and let's uh, do a preview on those now what we're doing is previewing and we're going to say let's use this one now hiring uh, or you know click that one you may have to use a, a program like Photoshop or something to change the message, like click the link above or click the link below to start today. Um, you can preview these or click here. Um, start your own home-based business. Um, work at home moms. That's a real good theme um, because Work at home moms is a real big search term. So let's go ahead and select this one. All right. And it's going to load it in. If you select more than one photo, 
it is going to put in multiple pictures along into an album. Now we're going to say something about this. You can put in the link, all right, how to become a work at home mom. And then just post it. If you want to put some commentary in there, you can put some commentary and leave it there. Uh, now we can click on this star to highlight it, okay? That's basically pinning it to the top. It, it works in a little bit different manner than it does in the groups, but it does keep it highlighted. So when somebody else is vis visiting your wall, they will see this up on the top. So let me show you real quick. Let me log out of this account and log into another account that I have access to. And we'll go over here and search for, uh, do a search. And let's go here, click on my name there, Ernest O'Dell. And there what we see is I'm looking at Ernest O'Dell's wall because this account, Sagebrush, is connected to him. Okay. And it's also seeing this one here. And you notice the other one that I went to hide from a timeline. I didn't delete it or move it or change the date on it. I just hit it so it's not showing up. So the first two is showing up. So this is helping not only on my primary network, but on anybody else that is connected to me. And I'll probably have over a million connections through the secondary and the tertiary networks of other people. Because remember, when, when you have as many uh, quote friends uh, connections as I do uh, I have over 4,000 I try to keep it a little under uh, 5,000 so let's go to back to my main wall click on your name that brings you back to your main wall okay and I see I have 4,877 friends and no telling how many friends that each one of those people have connected to them okay so if somebody sees this and they click that, they want to look at that, uh, and they say, oh, how to become a work-at-home mom, and then, then they click on this link right here. Boom, okay? It brings them up to one of my lead capture pages, for instance, Rewards Network, and then they can fill out their name, email address, and phone. Uh, if you're using the default uh, capture page, uh, which is this one here. It's got a video that fires up automatically. Uh, you can use that if you have chosen it for your uh, default. And this is a nice page because it's got a lot of uh, uh, photo pics up here and proof of payment, you know, because people want to know if this is real. Here's another thing you can do. When you make a video like this, you can use Google uh, Hangout, or you can use uh, Camtasia uh, and record your your screen views, or you can use uh, GoToMeeting, GoToWebinar, uh, and have somebody sit in with you, and you can record this and then upload it to your website. So you can take it first. All right, let's go back to my account and log out properly. And we'll close out properly. And always make sure to come back over here and read this on the IMN Marketer FB timeline, Facebook timeline, what's a pin post, smart pinning strategies. Now, here's where it gets down. You can get into some smart strategies, okay? You can make images and post them up on your timeline. So we've done this. Uh, if you wanted to come over here and let's say post another photo and I've got some photos over in uh, let's go back to some of my generic Craigslist okay let's go to uh, uh, 
let me see if I can't find my, I've got a Craigslist ad templates. Don't want that. Generic image ads. That's the one I'm looking for. Okay. Now I want to go to the folder where I've already uh, expanded these. And you can go in here and look at some of the thumbnails and see, uh, you know, you can do a, a preview. Let's do a preview of this. Uh, you can do a preview of wanted uh, three smart savvy go-getters if you're ready to start uh, your own business. You can change this overlay with uh, the information for instant rewards. This is one that I did for uh, U.S. Home Workforce. Uh, you can use IRFAN view, I R F A N V I E W dot com, IRFAN view dot com, as a small image editor. Uh, it's free. It's downloadable. Uh, it works. Uh, like Photoshop, but you don't have to pay $2,000 for it. Um, you can take some of these image ads uh, and, and you can put your own text in there and then you can take uh, one of these image ads after you've modified it and saved it and, and use it for, um, you know, one of your uh, photos up here on your, your timeline. So let's take a look at this. Uh, how to cash in on the internet and earn $10,000 a month with a low budget, high profit side project. You can start today and run from anywhere in the world. No experience needed. Earn while you learn. Must have computer. We'll train the right people. Must be teachable 18 years and older. Get started now. Click here. Yeah, you know, you could use that. All right. So let's go ahead and, and paste that in there. All right. Here's another one. Now we want to say something about that because we just want to give them a link. We want to give them a link to to click, okay? And say, click here to learn more. And... We'll do it like this. Okay. It says click here to learn more. Since this has a, a deal on there and says get started now and, you know, click here. If they click on this, all they're going to do is just, you know, cycle through your photos. You want them to actually click the link. So when they click that link, always put a link in there with a photo. If they click the photo, they're just going to go to the next photo. You want it to give them a, an actual link to go to. If you want them to go to your default page, just use your default link with your ID. Okay? And then they can join up. And this is basically uh, a short tutorial how to use your timeline, um, you know, to, uh, to market your business for instant rewards and let people know what you're doing. So... Um, and I've got other people that post on my wall, uh, you know, and what you can do with two or three of these real nice photos and a link. Uh, this one here goes to my default page with the video. They click on that, and it comes up with the default uh, video starts playing. They can watch it, and I've gotten a lot of leads off of it that way. Um, and then of course you can you can put this on your timeline because I got a lot of people that do come to my wall and they see stuff like this every now and then. And I got other people that put op eds in there, and I might move the op ed down by date. Come in here. You can edit and change the location, change the date on it. You can move it back up to the top of the list. It'll stay live for about seven days if you see it getting moved down by other people's posts, you can take it and move it back up, okay? So that's it. In a nutshell, uh, read this first. Offer something of value in an exchange of, you know, likes or shares. Pin something up there. Put a photo up. Put a little commentary on the photo. 
uh, and we'll be doing a lesson uh, on uh, Pinterest. Highlight your post like I just showed you, and if you want to, uh, I'll load this up to YouTube. You can watch it over and over. You can come back and watch it later. You can subscribe to the YouTube channel feeds, and uh, you'll get an email every time I put up a new tutorial or a new webinar replay. We look forward to seeing you on the webinar tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye.